Greetings! I'm Mr. Sean. This is my channel, and this is my wonderful kitchen here. Today we have a World of Warcraft cooking review on three, count them three, very good looking recipes that I think would go well for the basketball season that's coming up. And what would that season be? This is blasphemy! This is madness! This is Sparta! First up, we got some beer basin boar ribs. Going start off good today. <laughs> ah, so good. Then we're gonna to go to the cornmeal biscuits and we're gonna finish it off with some juggle vine wine. It's gonna be a good day, let me tell you. Beer basted boar ribs. With an oven preheated to 275 degrees, I laid the three pound rib on my oven rack. I'm using some hickory smoked salt to rub down the ribs. I have a foil lined pan beneath to catch much, any drippings. Now for the sauce. I'm dicing up two shallots. I'm loading up a saucepan with olive oil, diced shallots, and some garlic. Then a, about a cup of ketchup, if it would frickin' leave the bottle. Ginger beer for some great flavor and color. Worcestershire sauce. Apple cider vinegar. And some molasses. giving it a stir to combine, but also using my emulsion blender to smooth out the sauce and slice, dice up the shallots even finer. Hopefully. The sauce took about 25 minutes to make, and it will then be applied to the ribs every 20 or 30 minutes over the next three hours. My overall impression is that just by itself, the barbecue, the barbecue sauce is amazing. It was a delicious sauce, and I definitely want to use it on other applications. Um, the ribs came out excellent in the oven. Wasn't fall off the bone, but I think that's just a matter of time. And even more so, I think it would be better on an outdoor grill than the inside the oven. But hey, at least it does work really well and came out really good. Cornmeal biscuits. Into the bowl, I am pouring flour, salt, baking powder, cornmeal, and salted butter. Well, I'm now working in the butter until there are no more buttery chunks. I use the thin shredder, but next time I want to try the thick shred for more cheesy flavoring. Finally, buttermilk. And mixing it all together. I have lined a baking sheet with parchment paper and preheating the oven to 375 degrees. I tried to use a measuring cup to make uniform biscuits, but the, but the dough was very sticky and wouldn't release. I just continued using my hands. Once the oven is ready, pop them in for 25 minutes or until golden brown on top. These are an excellent quick to bake biscuits that anyone can enjoy if you enjoy, you know, if you enjoy cornmeal of course, but uh, they were great biscuits overall. Jungle Vine Wine, or in this case Jungle Vine Juice, since I'm doing this virgin style. This is a tasty punch bowl or party drink to share with friends and family or any other party hostings you're doing. Pouring in some apple cider and pomegranate juice. 
I oozed out some orange juice concentrate, and I should not have done that. Just make the OJ first, then use some of that. The wine was way too tangy because of that mistake. I'm cutting up one green apple, one red apple, and slicing up an orange. And it was at this point I knew I was screwed because I still had to pour in a whole bottle of cranberry juice into my pitcher, which is now full of fruit. So I had to portion out the juice and fruit into another pitcher. Overall, this is an amazing concoction. It'd be a fun and tasty drink to enjoy. Thank you for watching my video. Please hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Please comment below as to things you liked, disliked, recipes you'd like me to do. Hit the subscribe button so you can pick up more of my videos. Good night. <laughs>